Hey everyone, it's Mike from Order Flows, and I'm making this uh, quick video just to talk a bit about Delta in the order flow. You know, there's three basic building blocks, I think, to order flow, one of which is Delta, the other is point of control, and the other is imbalances. But I want to talk about today is recognizing things in the Delta that can help your trading. Now, before I begin, you know, a brief disclaimer, basically, don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. You know, training is not for everybody. And just really quick, you know, the order flow software that I use in this video is my software, the order flows trader which is available from orderflows.com. So Delta is what it is if you're new to order flow. Basically, it's the difference between aggressive buyers and aggressive sellers in the bar. Every bar has a Delta. It could be positive or negative, and on a rare occasion, it's going to be zero. Now, just because it lands on zero, I don't think it means anything. You know, it, it's just coincidence. It could have landed on minus one. It could have landed on plus one. You know, sometimes people that are new to order flow, they hear the term Delta, and immediately they start thinking about options and Delta in as it's applied to options. This is not the same. This is uh, different. It's a way to measure aggressive uh, activity in a bar. And when a trader buys at the market, basically buys the best offer, it registers as plus one in the Delta. When a trader sells at the market, he sells into the best bid, it registers as minus one. Now, when a bar has positive Delta, generally aggressive buyers are in control of that bar. When a bar has negative delta, generally aggressive sellers are in control. I say generally because that's not always the case. But what I'll be talking about today is how delta is a market-generated piece of information that's going to help a trader determine times when demand is weakening and times when supply is weakening. Now, will it tell you exactly every single time supply is weakening or demand is weakening? No, but there are times when it is so clear that overlooking it would be stupid. All right, so let me uh, pull up a chart here really quick. So what do I got here? So this is E-minis. This is a one-minute chart. And on my software, right, it's on the bottom, right, Delta here. Now there's there's other softwares out there. If you're using something else, fine. Um, just know where you can find your Delta. The same type of analysis will apply. Personally, I, I'm so used to looking at it at the bottom that if I had it above, some software puts it above or below the bars, it, to me, it just gets more confusing. I just like it nice and neatly uh, lined up underneath the bar at the bottom so I could see it at a glance. Now, like I said, yeah, every bar is going to have a delta. It's either going to be positive or negative. And generally, as the market's moving down, it's going to move down on negative delta. When a market is moving up, it's going to move up on positive delta. But what I was talking about, how you can determine if supply is weakening or demand is weakening, is when you start analyzing the delta as you know sort of well, not, not as a whole but as you know you string them together i guess is the best way to put it um so for example here right this market is going down okay you got a swing high up here it's starting to sell off a bit you know if swing high at 78 and a half comes down to 71 and a half okay but what's happening in this delta you know on the way down it's got strong delta it's got that big strong delta number here minus 895 you know this big red bar up here is minus 1174 so obviously sellers are in control here sellers are definitely in control here strong sellers here minus 351 minus 402 minus 900 we're still going down right still got these negative deltas sure you have some positive bars with positive deltas in here 150 yeah, it's kind of small 393 yeah okay it doesn't necessarily mean this moves over but what I'm really looking at is as we're coming down as we make a move right if you're looking for in this case supply to be weakening and for a market to make a reversal, you got to have a move to reverse, right? So if what I'm looking for is in the delta is something like this, right? You see the delta sort of contracting here, minus 939, minus 661, minus 193. Then it's positive. Buyers are coming in here, plus 324. Now, again, minus 551 is, is strong. Minus 70, though, you know, there's a green bar. And then plus 325 plus 94 plus 1076 so at this point down in here when I see this Delta when I see this formation so to speak this pattern minus 931 minus 661 minus 193 and then flips to positive 324 this is telling me that as we were coming down into this low a potential low is being put in here minus 193 is less than obviously well it's not less than it's actually more than because you're dealing in negative numbers so instead of the Delta getting stronger with aggressive sellers being more in control, aggressive sellers are weakening, minus 939, minus 661, minus 193, right? It's, the selling is not as strong. And then aggressive buying coming in here, 
Now you got this one bar here, minus 551. You know, granted, you know, say, okay, well, maybe this move's not over. But then you got to watch what's happening in the next bars. You can't just say, well, I got this bar here with minus 551 delta, even though we got a higher low than the low down here, and just say, well, this move's um, not over. We're still going down. No, you got to watch what happens afterwards, right? You know, if you're getting long off this bar, right, you'd, this minus 931, 939, minus 661, minus 193, plus 324, if you're getting long in here, you don't know at this time that this bar is going to close at minus 551. You're long in here. You know, your stop is just below um, this low somewhere down here. So you're basically risking this little area down here, you know, how many, two points. You know, where's your target? Your target's going to be somewhere up in here around the 78 area. 77 area and so you, you see the negative delta you start thinking oh no you know i'm long and also we got big sellers coming in but the fact that we haven't taken out the low of the previous bar the low of the previous bar is still encouraging but then this next bar comes in you, you take out the low of the previous bar but still up above the um these two bars right off the low and then the market starts making reversing its course right you got the small de delta of minus 70 um then you got here plus 325, plus 94, plus 1,076, up, 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 back up to the 70, you know, whatever that is, 78 area, 78 and a quarter area, okay? Now, um, you know, a little bit later, you got the same sort of thing happening here. So, you know, up here at 78, you sell off, boom, 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 you're coming down, you get down to this area, okay? Now, on these bars down here, right, you see the delta is all negative on this move down. Minus 95, minus 1100, minus 1900, minus 360, minus 567, minus 687, minus 651, minus 40. Okay, but it's still negative. Minus 282. I'm not yet convinced that, you know, I should be buying in here yet. When I see a sign of aggressive buyers coming in, in positive delta, then, you know, that would be like sort of my go signal. And you don't get it till over here. So it's you know, minus 1,049, minus 579, minus 92. Then boom, the aggressive buyers come in here. You can see a positive delta of 422. You know, you got multiple imbalances in here. You got a stack buying imbalance in here. You know, you got a lot of nice things going in this bar. And you see how the market just, you know, it, it makes this nice move back up. It doesn't quite get up to 78 immediately up here. It only gets up to 76, but you know what? That's a decent trade. You know, that's still five points in the S and P's. Um, all right. So, what does it look like when you're up near a high? So, this is um, the eighth, around seven fifteen at night. So, you know, you can use this during the day session. You can use it in the evening session. And this is a perfect example, right? So, we're at our highs up here, twenty nine, uh, thirty five and three quarters. You know, we just keep hitting this highs. This is an e mini, one minute chart. But you'll notice as you get up in here, right? Delta. Okay, so the first time you break out to the new highs, positive delta 479. Then some small negative deltas, minus 69, minus 29. Strong delta still 296, but we still can't get past this high. Next bar, strong, you know, positive delta. I don't say strong delta, 182. Again, we just hit that high, don't get past it. Next bar, little inside bar, positive delta 23, small. Next bar, up bar, positive, uh, negative delta 48. Next bar, we hit that high again. Um, delta, positive delta of 80. Then the next bar, a little bit lower, positive delta 54. And then third bar here, 14. And then strong sellers, minus 133. Now, what's interesting in here, right, if you're looking, you got 296, 182, 23, then minus 48. And then again, positive 80, 54, 14, minus 133. Where's your aggressive buyers? Where's the buyers that take this market higher? You don't see them. Instead, you're seeing this buying really weakening up here. Every time you poke up to the high, it's on weaker positive delta. And then as you just sort of hang around the high, each bar is putting in weaker delta, weaker positive delta. Finally, what does the market do? Well, look at this. It sells off from this area up in here around the 34 area down to, you know, down to where are we down here? 28 where we just sort of start going sideways down here. So, you know, whether you're looking at it from a bottoming aspect or a top being put in, you know, watch what's happening in the delta. You know, put the pieces together of order flow, try and figure out, okay, well, what's the market telling me? You know, the market tells you a lot of information. Whether or not you want to use it, again, is up to you. So, 
you know, that's this short video. You know, I hope you found it useful. You know, subscribe to the channel. And, you know, if you're interested in order flow software, um, be sure to click on the link below. So bye-bye, everyone.